Brand guidelines are an essential tool to keep your brand consistent. Stick around to find out why. What's up designers, welcome back to Digifrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at what brand guidelines are and what their purpose is. They have a range of different names, but regardless of what you call them, they're designed to do the same thing. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday, helping you become a better designer. So what are brand guidelines? Sometimes referred to as style guides, brand standards, and brand manuals to name a few. But regardless of what you call them, brand guidelines are the standards required to represent your branding correctly. Have you ever seen adverts where company logos have been squished or crammed into spaces? Have mixed messages and language across their complete offering? Inconsistencies with fonts, colours and style amongst other things? It doesn't look professional, does it? After spending time and your hard-earned money on the perfect logo for your business, how would you feel if somebody squished your logo to make it fit? You wouldn't feel good, would you? So how can we stop that from happening? That's where brand guidelines come to the rescue. They allow you to provide designers, marketing agencies, or any other business you subcontract to a set of rules and regulations to follow when creating branded material and how to use branded assets. This ensures it's consistent, gives off the correct message, and is aimed towards your target audience. These are documents that set out rules and regulations for how people can use your brand asset, like your logo, in order to maintain consistency. Without having these guidelines in place, it's quite easy for designers to take your assets and fit them into their designs, rather than designing them to fit your brand. The contents and extent of brand guidelines can vary depending on the particular brand's requirements and size of the business. But there are usually some key elements that are included, such as the history of the company, the elevator pitch, values, tone and voice, the brand personality, logo usage including lockups, sizing and safe zones, which version of the logo should be used in different applications, and how much space should be left around the design. This is normally shown in relevance to a specific size or element of the design. Colour palettes in all required formats such as RGB, CMYK, hex, Pantone amongst others, and how the colourway should be implemented in each application. Typography showing the specific font that you use and the details of the font family and default fonts and how they should be used. Visual language and photography, any stationery, merchandising, social media and so on. The information contained in these sections describes how each asset should be used in order for the brand to be represented clearly and consistently. It's a good idea for everyone that works for the brand to familiarise themselves with the guidelines to make sure that everybody is singing from the same hymn sheet. Brand guidelines should be flexible enough for designers to be creative, but rigid enough to keep your brand easily recognisable. Consistency is key, especially if you need the brand to extend across multiple platforms. So why put the time into creating the perfect logo or brand if you have nothing in place stopping others changing it and misrepresenting it? If you have a logo and don't have any guidelines, I suggest you should go back and speak to the designer that created the logo for you and get them to create some for you. Logo guidelines are at bare minimum, which are a stripped back version of brand guidelines focusing more towards logo uses, typography and colours. If you're not in touch with the designer, any designer should be able to help you put a set of guidelines in place. I've included a few links to some of my favourite brand guidelines in the description box below. And if you take a look through some of these, you'll see to what extent the content varies and you'll also notice the key areas that are covered in each. Post your favourite brand guidelines in the comments below. Thanks for watching designers. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give it a like and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social. It really helps reach more people, educate them on building better brands and showing them what actually goes into designing them. And shop the merch to support the channel and show you part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week.